Hi folks, Brian Gillette here, owner, proprietor, uh, managing director of uh, BGT Developments and, uh, and Associated Companies. Um, I wanted to make this video because, um, well, listen, I've been overwhelmed. I, I sent a letter out to all of my suppliers and creditors, some 80 plus, um, over a week ago, and I think now I'm getting I'm getting messages from people all over the world about that letter. Um, obviously, because my PA after sending it asked me, "Would you like me to share this on Facebook?" I said, "Absolutely." Let's get our position out there and make sure it's very very clear. Um, so uh, so from there it has gone viral, and um, and many of you have reached out to me on email, Facebook, and every other social platform known to man, and. Um, and you have uh, you have given me encouraging words, and I want to thank you for that. Um, I actually did not expect that at all. If anything, I expected precisely the opposite. I expected to be slammed, and I was okay with that because um, because I was kind of ready to to take a few darts or bullets, or whatever it might be, just to stand up for what I know is right and true. What I see happening now is entirely wrong, and it's wrong in every way. And uh, for those uh, who are either vocally or silent, silently endorsing what's going on, then I would say, please, it's time you took a look in the mirror. It's time you really um, said, I, I either need to get on the right side of history or I need to hang my head in shame because what I've supported here is an apartheid. I've supported things that I've read about in history books that I thought, how could they possibly have done that? And yet here I am doing exactly what they did. So please... Um, people, I, I, I've, I've received a lot of messages as well asking about the letter's authenticity. I have been traveling, so I must let you know that, um, that my PA actually initially drafted a letter that I asked her to draft about this, uh, sent it to me while I was in transit. I got, um, I'm in the USA, got here, uh, read it and deleted all of it uh, with, with the exception of probably the date and, uh, and rewrote it from scratch. So I, uh, I guess there's no better way to, um, to, to uh, I guess uh, sign it and give its authenticity, then maybe reading it out to you uh, from the horse's mouth. This is where I stand, and please, I would invite you to make a stand too as a business to uh, to do what's right, because um, right now, following along with government mandates and objectives is not right. So here's the letter that I wrote to my suppliers: We are writing to you to inform you of our policy around the New Zealand government traffic light system the rights of the individual and our stance on it. It is our policy at BGT Developments to uphold individuals' freedoms in line with human rights charters and the New Zealand Bill of Rights. Our staff will not be subject to coercion or bullying of any kind. Their jobs will not be threatened from their decision and we will vehemently oppose any attempt by any authority to use BGT Developments or any of our employees to achieve their medical objectives. They will make decisions that are right for them and their family, and we will respect those decisions, as we will respect the decisions made by our customers. They will never be asked for their medical history or to justify whether they have or have not had a vaccine. We will most certainly not aid and abet a medical apartheid here in New Zealand. Freedom is not a privilege given to you by governments. Freedom is a right given to you, every human being on earth by God. We know freedoms of the individual are inalienable. They cannot be taken away or removed regardless of the threat, perceived or real. If you hold similar views, please let us know so we can continue to support your company and form closer relationships. If your policy is encouraging or enforcing any of the government-led mandates outlined above, please advise us so we can consider the future between our respective companies. We simply cannot support businesses that don't uphold the most basic of human rights. That is my letter in its entirety, and that is my message in its entirety. There's crafty messages coming from the media all the time about why we should give up our freedoms and why we should snitch on our neighbours and why we should just do what the collective do. Is that the way you want our children thinking? 
Is that the message we want to pass on to the next generation? Is to just do what everyone else is doing without any thought? Have you stopped and thought about why they're called dependents? They are depending on you and I making wise decisions for this generation and the generation to follow and not leaving them a basket case or worse, tragedy beyond our imaginations. Right now, we have governments who are simply too big. We have done a very poor job of keeping governments small. And that's exactly right now what we need to start considering. How have they got too big and how do we make them much, much smaller? They are too involved in our lives. Perhaps it's through our complacency. Perhaps we've become too lazy and we've handed over things that we really, as humans, should have taken on ourselves. Perhaps, you know, there's not a program for, for, the, for the homeless, but we actually take them in. Perhaps there's not a program for this or for that, but we actually take it on ourselves. We have enabled a big government. And sure as anything, bureaucracy begets bureaucracy. And so now the question sits with us. What are we going to do? Now it feels so big that often you sit there and go, I'm overwhelmed. I don't even know where to throw a punch. And I feel you on that because I have felt the same way. But I would implore you to find a way, find something you can control. And often it's the decision you need to make where you don't know what's on the other side of it. You know it's right, but you go, oh, that's too big. Is there a smaller one I can make? No, make the big one. One thing I always say to people is big decisions bring about big outcomes. Small decisions bring about small outcomes. <laughs> so they are intrinsically tied together. If you've got big decisions you need to make and big things, big changes you believe that you can do, then now's your time to stand for this generation and the ones to follow. And my message to you, many of you who have asked um, many times now, how can I help? I don't really know yet. Many of you have messaged me your details and that's, you know, that's, that's really handy. I've got my PA inputting uh, a lot of your details into an Excel spreadsheet. Um, trying to understand your background, your skills, etc. If there's some way that we can uh, that we can mobilise different people um, to assist, then we'll be looking at ways to do that. Uh, I, uh, I, of course, I'm in land development. If you can assist in that space, I'm I'm more than keen to hear from you because there is certainly going to be some shakeout when it comes to my suppliers and creditors. So I will need people there, and that's anything from you know digger driving, excavating, earth moving. Um, civil uh, contractors through to engineers, planners, surveyors. Um, I may, I may not need those, but please send me your details so, um, so that I can um, keep them on hand. Uh, I also used to own and run a business directory. I have every intention of trying to revive that business directory. I mean, it's still alive. Um, some of you will know this. Uh, that it was called blue b l w o dot com dot au. I intend on renaming that to some sort of freedom directory that allows people just to find other businesses who think like I do and like you do. Um, so that is something in the back of my mind. Uh, if you have skills and expertise in the IT space or believe you have the, the ability to run a business directory, please send me your details and, um, and tell me why. Um, it's a, you know, they're, they're a complex beast. Um, but, uh, but right now, that engine is there. It was built and years ago, and it, um, it can probably be easily restored uh, to, be, to be used as, as a way for businesses to be able to very easily and quickly identify other businesses who think alike. And so people can still find hairdressers and restaurants and cafes who are sympathetic, who, are, who understand and want to stand up. And, uh, and together, we can make an extraordinary difference. So... Um, Again, thank you for your support. Thank you that uh, you've gone to the trouble of reaching out to me to let me know how you feel. It's very much appreciated. Let's continue to fight the good fight, people. And, um, and then history will almost certainly smile on all of us for doing the right thing. Thank you very much.